Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Beatrice Vivius and Frankie Two Socks with your morning beach walk. And estuary and town. Have to do something interesting nowadays. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Didn't you wish you were here? St. Lucia Estuary Broadwalk Can we go to the Hi lady Hey Can we go to the Let's just look a little bit at the windblown sand dunes at this tree stump that washed out here. Yeah, that's the push pole for the ski boats. Check this formation here. Oh, I haven't got wind reduction on. This is going to sound awful today. The fuck now is on. This is a high water swim. Come here, so. It's on. Way. It's on. Come here. Check that out. Canon 70 SX70 HS. Beautiful video quality. Powerful zoom. I just have to fix my noise reduction. Came unstuck yesterday. of this dune over here. The Frank is at the short end. We'll take another one at the long end. The clay layers that was deposited by the dump trucks in 2017.
Hey, daar is een mooi gul. Wat ga je nou? Wat ga je nou? Ik heb been pushed, but got stuck on the sandbank. The zone is trying to help to push it off. And there it's a go. Top sand dune here at the Eastry Mouth Parking, where the Eastry Mouth Parking used to be. It's moving a lot westward and southwards. And it's turned 160 degrees here and take a reference on the other side see at the moment. But it, there's, a lot, there's a lot of encroachment going on. I have to fix the mic. Yes! The public slipway or Sugarloaf Jetty as it's also fondly known as has now been opened to visitors. I don't think you can launch your boat yet. I'll investigate that on your behalf. But we can come and do some water level updates here. It gives another beautiful angle to the videos. So I have to do a battery change. I'll come back now. Let me just get a different battery in here. Okay, back. Let's have a look what happened here in the months since it's been closed down. Yeah, well, it's still rising. Let's compare the notes from yesterday afternoon until now. Look at the water level increase here. Now we've got marks. It was closed down before April because of the flooding. So let remember when the estuary mouth was closed, all this was flooded under water. So that's why the parking area was closed. Now it's open, let's see what we can see, what's interesting. This was really nearly refurbished just before the it was flooded. And um, you will see that there's nails on the walkway. The bigger guys like myself stay on top of the nails. Then you won't fall through. Hopefully not. Some water flowing here from the ice marsh hibiscus. Let's have a look. look at those minerals inside that water. Hey, look at the colors. And you can smell it. Got a very punchy marsh smell. Almost rotten, but not quite. Alright, we're in the front of the jetty now. We can barely see past the reach here. And we will have to clean this corner up so that we can have turn our water level indicator into a mud level indicator. Hmm? That would be a good idea. These reeds are well above two meter above the jetty maybe maybe going for three meter above the jetty there's no way Pardet is gonna let herself come onto this jetty but you can't this de jetty fraud papa huh loop him in snow pom me ah straight in my journey let's go look at the water levels at the public slip that crazy weary he talks about poof mussels. Is this one edible? Who poofed you? Can you tell by the boss by the mussel who poofed you? 
I always laughed when Parksport put up these signs. But really, we find people swimming here. And they say they didn't know it was dangerous. They didn't know the animals around here is dungaroos. And yeah, we have got some resilient tour guides that come down here to feed the crocodiles for an extra tip. For an extra hundred dollars. So, they do crazy things for money. But there's a 10,000 rand fine. This is the public slipway. If you think you can get your boat across the mud, I think you're more than welcome to come and launch. It's very busy. I don't want to. There's a, a drain path and a hippo path that was cut out when the water drained away. In these many, many, many days, there's a female crocodile lying up here basking in the sun but I mean massive and we've got another reference and yeah we've got the path that used to go to the picnic sites next to the history that was closed by the infamous Andrew Zalumas and his management plan to get the people to stop using the waterfront so that he can start his commercial development so all this infrastructure management was put on the back burner and it's now purely a walking trail that you have to have shoes if you want to come and walk I wanted to go and show you the origin of the water draining into the Mars hibiscus maybe I can reach there but I'll need to get my, my shoes to come and walk here ultimately let's have a look some nasty nasty thorns and stuff here because there hasn't been people walking here for the last couple of years but it's been maintained now properly ouch that is a thorn yeah it looks like a thorn I'll do this little bit of a walk just to show you guys all right this area here there was a lot of water and that is where the water comes from that's feeding the drainage at the marsh hibiscus and um, the park authority did some alien invasion cleanup here through the working for water project or whatever they call it but they get things done in the past three years that wasn't done in 22 years since we got world heritage site status it's getting done now so um, guys get to uh, get hold of the isimangli wetland park authority if you want to donate money towards these causes and projects um, this little barcode here will take you to the website just point your cell phone camera to it and voila it will open their website you can get the contact details there